Hey guys of YouTube, this is a new tutorial of App Inventor. Okay, this time we will do a timer like this. An example, we put 5 seconds and start. And it will start to count until it becomes to zero. It has a sound and the numbers are on red color. We click on stop. And if we click on restart, it comes to zero. We could put minutes, seconds, and we would start until it becomes to zero. Okay, we start. We put five hours, three minutes, and ten seconds. Start, and it will start to count. If we put stop, it will get pause. And if we click on start again, it will continue counting. Until it becomes to zero. Okay, this is the app. Let's start the programming. So we go to App Inventor. So this is the design of the app. All we need is some labels, buttons, and also we need a clock and a player. The clock is to measure the time with an interval of 1000 for the seconds and it has to be disabled. And a player for the sound, that is a simple alarm, and a loop to continue playing and volume, volume at 100. Okay, now we go to blocks part. In this part, we need three variables. One for seconds. And we initialize in zero. Also, we, we need uh, one for minutes and hours. Okay, now the clock programming. We put this timer tool. And the clock initialize will degree in one second. We'll start with the seconds, so we need an if. And we need a math more equal. More equal than one. We put one, one, because the variable seconds needs to be more than one. To subtract the time and start counting. And now we put this math, the seconds variable, and then we subtract. 1 to the seconds variable okay and almost the same for the minutes and also for the hours we need an, a logic of equals here if seconds is equals to zero and minutes are more than one It means that we need to subtract one two minutes and start the seconds in fifty nine. So we need um, math and and first the seconds needs to be equals to zero. So we duplicate this and the other statement minutes more than one. Minutes more than one. Okay. If it's the case, it subtract one to minutes. And now the seconds will start restart in fifty nine. So we put fifty nine. If 
we need to put this on the text for the minutes and for the seconds. We duplicate this and we change it for seconds. Okay, in the opposite case, it means that it still has seconds. So we duplicate this and put the value of seconds. And now the minutes, the part of minutes that, that it's almost the, the same. But we change the seconds for minutes and the minutes to hours. In case that minutes becomes to zero, it means that it could have hours. So if hours is greater than one, it still has hours to decrease. So hours, we subtract one. And seconds now are minutes. And minutes, it's hours. Hours, minutes equals two minutes. And minutes, okay. Like this it will get uh, decreases. Okay, now we'll do a sentence to check if seconds, minutes and hours are zero. It means that the timer is over. So then it has to disable the clock the numbers in red and play the music or alarm so for this we put an if we put a math a, a logic end and also another we duplicate this we put it there If seconds and hours are zero, seconds, minutes and hours are zero, then, then it's over. So we disable the clock, timer enable, and we put it in pulse. Now on hours, we put the text, the text color on on red color. So we uh, we put this okay, and the same for minutes and seconds. And now to play the sound, we put this color called player start, and to make the cell phone vibrate is this. The, we put the milliseconds in 1000. Okay. And now the buttons. We start uh, the button start. Okay, the start button. We put when click. We need to put the value that has the variables of seconds, minutes, and hour of the text box. So we, we put this in the variables, set hours to hours that text. We duplicate this and we change it. Now we put an if. This if will be the same as we already did um, in here. Uh, 
in here so we duplicate this and we put it in there okay we put it here to activate the clock it needs to be different to zero so in timer or in clock we put this timer enable and we put in true We put the text color in black. And also we put a photo letter. Okay, this is all for the start button. Now the stop button. Then button stop click. Here we just need to stop the clock and the player. We put a time enable to false and it's all. Okay, now the restart button. Let it put again in zero all the variables. So the button click. Restart button click. And it put in zero the, the variables and also the text. We put set hours in zero. And the same for the others. And also for the text. This get hours minutes and seconds also we need to stop the chronometer or the clock we put it the same this and also we need this oh, the text color And also to stop the the alarm. Okay, that's that's it. And I will do the up and down arrows. And it will increase or decrease the time. And it's the same for all the arrows. This is the button up hours. When button click, we need a variable that will have the value of the text box. It will time time. And it has the the text box of hours. Okay, this is time. Okay, now we have we need an if we couldn't put negative numbers, so we put a math less equals less equals the the time variable needs to be less or equals to fifty nine. Maximum is sixty. Or 59 and when you click it it will change the text so we put set hours that text a mat of zoom the variable get time 
plus one. And it's almost the same for the minutes. We change it for minutes. Uh, here is the same. And it's the same for minutes and seconds. And that's it. I will change it for seconds. 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 Here is seconds. And that's it. And now for the down buttons, down arrows. We duplicate this and change the name of the button that is down. We change the math, uh, math to more equals one because it couldn't be negative. It starts in zero. And also this math, get time, and we put it here. Okay, this is all that change. So we duplicate this, and it's the same for uh, the other variables. This is for minutes, minutes, and now for seconds. Okay, this is all the app. Now let's compile and test it on the cell phone. Okay, first of all, we have an error by here in the start button. Here we need to change the and for an or because you could put only seconds, minutes, or hours. So it says that one of these needs to be more than one to start the clock. Okay, let's go to the app. And start. And like you see, it works. It's already working. Okay, in start. We start in zeros, okay? I put hours, minutes, and seconds. We start. And 59, 58. Okay. And it works. It will stop until it becomes to zero. Okay, this is all the app. Don't forget to follow me on the social networks and to subscribe. Any question, please do it. And I'll answer it. Please share the, the videos and also bye.